Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's been a few weeks since I saw you, but I wanted to make a video to show you this. Ta-da! Big finish. Um, <laughs> I'm not wasting any time. I can't hide it. I'm so excited about finishing Sarah Brazier um, by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. She's a big girl. She looks small there. She's actually 22 inches square. Um, this is Sarah Brazier. Um, by Hands Across the Sea Samplers, 1829. Um, this is stitched on 46 count custom dyed linen from X2 Design called Sarah Brazier Blend. Um, these are all satin stitches here in the borders. Um, I just used one strand for the satin stitch and I'm really happy with the coverage. I think it looks gorgeous. Nothing on this sampler is symmetrical. Everything is wonky and doesn't match. And that's kind of what one of the things I really like about it. Um, my favourite part are these peacocks. Peacocks on the tree. I love them. I think they look great. Sorry, I keep going in front of the light. Sarah Brazier. Uh, August 1829. She was, what was she, 11? 10 or 11 when she stitched this? Um, it's amazing. This is huge. It is... What is it? Uh, 479 by 472 stitches. Uh, so she's a big girl. She's about 22 inches square. Yeah, and it's very beautiful. Lovely colours. Um, lovely details. Just thought you'd like to see. So as I said, um, I'm really, really happy to have finished her. She was a lot of work. She's big. <laughs> um, I think it was 479 by 482 or something, or 89 by 80. Anyway, she's nearly 500 by 500. She's 22 inches. She stitched one over two on 46 count custom dyed linen from X2 Design. I used DMC, just one strand, um, and even for the satin stitched, I used one strand, and I think I have fantastic coverage. Um, the DMC is still shiny. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. I love her. Um, everything about her is amazing. I'm going to take her to the framers today or tomorrow, um, and I'm going to enter in, in the show next year. Uh, yeah. So that's very exciting. I'm so relieved to be done. I feel like all of my stitching has been on hold just till I can finish this. Um, and I've been procrastinating in other ways by not even stitching at all, like playing games. So um, now that it's done, I feel like I have a bit more freedom with, you know, making other things, stitching other things. Um, I'm trying to talk loudly because some people told me that my videos have been quiet in the last few videos. And I, I agree, I've been listening back and they are too quiet. I can't figure out what's going on with, with the microphone. It seems to be fine. Um, I'm just going to make sure I'm closer and I'm speaking more loudly. So, I have been stitching other things. I've been bitten by the start bug and I want to start everything. Um, I haven't, I've only started one thing, but it's a big thing. And I want to start four other things that are all almost completely kitted up. And I, <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to, let's just say that. I'll finish a couple more things probably before I start more. Um, I have a lot of sort of smallish things that I want to finish in the near future, so. But I'll try and get those done before I have too many more new starts. Um, I have some progress to show. Yeah, so the, f the first thing I picked up, actually the first thing I picked up when I finished Sarah Brazier was actually a new start. And I started this. This is Riolis uh, Camille Monet. It's called Camille Monet after C. Monet's painting. So obviously it's by Claude Monet. Can Camille was his wife. I just love it because she's stitching. <laughs> um, I really like it. Uh, I've only made a small start. But I started this within an hour of finishing that. <laughs> um, I was excited to start this. Oh, by the way, Riolis gave me this kit in exchange for me talking about them on my floss tube. So just full disclosure. And here's my start. It does not look very exciting. Um, what to say about this? This is Ada 14 count and almost all the stitching here is three strands which is why the coverage looks 
pretty good. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. Mm, not, not so good. Uh, focus? No? Okay. Well, it's, um, oh, it's so dark now. It's 14 count, mostly three strands. The colours are so bright and vivid. They, I mean, they look bright on here, up in that corner where the flowers are. But in real life, they're so bright and vivid. And I think people have said that about anchor threads before. I've heard people say that anchor threads are just crazy bright. Um, really beautiful. And I, I have to agree, they're really nice. Um... It's not the most fun thing to stitch, <laughs> for me at least. Um, there's a lot of blended threads, and as in two strands of number 12 and one strand of number 13. Um, and because it's all, nearly all three strands, I can't do loop starts. Blending threads is my least favourite thing to do in cross stitch. Um, the effect is lovely, but it just takes so long. And um, I've decided with this, what I'm going to do is make myself do one thread a day. Um, so I should at least have progress to show uh, regularly. Oh, you can see I've gridded the fabric um, just to make it easier to stitch because it's kind of a full coverage, but I am going cross country. I'm not doing parking or anything. I thought about parking, but I'm paranoid about running out of thread. And because in the realist kit, they don't, uh, it is anchor thread, but they don't tell you what thread number it is. So I'm trying to fix the color. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I don't know. Um, so if I run out of thread, I can't just go to the shop and buy that anchor colour because because it doesn't tell me what colour it is. And no shops around me sell anchors, so I can't just match it. Uh, so, yeah. I have to talk about the chart, though. Um, <laughs> this chart, uh, as a friend pointed out to me, is quite frustrating because a lot of the colours... Sorry, a lot of the symbols are the same with a different colour background. So if you look at the symbols up here... Say for example, mm, okay, over here. Say for example, this this pink and this green, right? They don't have a symbol; they've just got a color. So for people who are colorblind, they can't actually see the difference, um, which makes these charts very unhelpful. Uh, I don't think Riolis. I don't know. I don't think Riolis is going to give you a black and white chart um, to stitch from. Maybe they will, but yeah. Just be aware if you're colorblind that these charts are not going to be suitable for you. Sorry. I don't think that would happen if men cross-stitched. You know, if this was a male-dominated hobby, they would have catered. But not for women. Just just saying. Uh, okay. The other thing I've been working on is Yuletide Shanty by Plum, Plum Street Samplers. And it's this really cute little drum. And it's got Santa on his ship on the top. And on the bottom it says... Old Saint Nick, he sails the seas, his beard grows long so he don't freeze. So he won't freeze. <laughs> and on the side it looks like this, with the whale and the Christmas presents and stuff. It's very cute. Um, I really like it. I've just been working on the side here. Uh, here's the whale. This is a 40 count, some kind of raw natural linen. Um, it's kind of weird to stitch on. It's very... looks even, but the threads are very fine. Anyway, it... it it's turning out cute, so I don't mind. That's a bit better. Um, there's a lot of white stitching. This whale <laughs> is big. Um, but it's going to look really cute when it's done. I love this tree with the little candy canes underneath. Love it. Um, the reason I want this finished is because in November I'm going to a retreat with Paulette Stewart from Plum Street Samplers. Yay! So I thought I'd better finish something by Plum Street before then. <laughs> So I'm, I'll finish this and I might try and finish the other, stop it, the other, my job, the other Plum Street sampler I'm stitching is Anne Bass and Loughborough um, and I hopefully will finish that before the retreat as well or maybe not finish it but at least stitch on it at the retreat. So I've been working on this, I think this will probably be my next finish, actually I'm working on something at work that's kind of a secret, well it's not a secret. It's something I'm stitching for someone. Actually, it's for my mum and I don't think she watches these videos. Um, but I'm getting close to a finish of the major part of it. And I didn't bring it here to show you. Maybe next time I do a video I'll bring it. Because mum doesn't watch these videos. Okay, anyway. One of those two things will be my next finish. But that is Yuletide Chanty by Plum Street Samplers. Um, it's fun to work on, except for the huge amount of white in that whale. <laughs> um... The 
only other thing I've been working on is I've resumed my stitch along with And a Forest Crew by Rosewood Manor. This is a photocopy, sorry, that's why it's so terrible. Um, everyone knows this and loves it. I started doing this a couple of years ago as a stitch along with a couple of other people. I don't think the other people are doing it anymore. I know my mum definitely isn't. Um, but I said, okay, I'm going to do two motifs per week. Um, and basically I haven't touched it since February until just yesterday. I stitched on it yesterday and I did two motifs. So let me show you where I'm up to. This is the top left corner, top right corner, sorry, top right corner up here. So I have, all the bottom is done. It's just all rolled up in the Q-snap, sorry. So what did I do? I did these mushrooms here. That was one and this little tree was two because <laughs> sometimes I'm in the mood to do a big motif like this that's going to take me a lot of hours and sometimes I'm not. And even these little mushrooms, they took a long time. Um, each of those mushrooms has four or five colours in it. Each mushroom has five colours in it and look how tiny they are. Uh, yeah, I mean the effect is, is very, very adorable and it's worth it. But yes, it's a lot of work. Um, I love this piece. Hopefully I'll get this finished next year. I still have quite a lot to go. Basically I've done the bottom half and the top right, top right. I'm up to, oh okay, I'm getting close on the top right. That's the little tree and these are the mushrooms. So yeah, I should be able to finish this next year, I think. Um, I'm changing the verse in the middle, um, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. I'm not gonna spend time today because I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> Um, I don't have much else to say, actually, to be honest. Oh, I have, I have some haul. Um, I wasn't expecting to have haul, but I do. Um, I went out to my local stitching group, yeah, uh, Saturday, down at the Crafty Frog. That's kind of my LNS. They carry some cross-stitch stuff. Um, anyway, and one of the ladies there was de -stashing. She brought in quite a few kits, actually, maybe 20 or 30 kits. Um, and a couple of charts and I actually picked these two up for a good price for $10 each and I think they're both beautiful. They're both um, Maya kits which are by Anchor. Um, so they have Anchor thread and 18 count, I think 18 count Ada. Ada. Um, but this is the first one and she's called Soul's Awakening. I think she's beautiful. I love her. See the butterflies are flying off the dress and going up to the flower. Love her. Um, Soul's Awakening, Keith Mallet Studio. I think Keith Mallet must be the artist. I uh, love this. And this other one is also a Maya kit, but this one's in a big box. That's what it looks like. The front, I, the front is a better picture, but it doesn't show you the whole length. This one's called Naima. N A I M A. Naima, I think. Um, I think that's gorgeous. This also is Keith Mallet. I think that is so beautiful. So yeah, I'm pretty happy to have these. Again, Anchor. Actually, you can see full skeins of Anchor in there. But can you? Yep. Um, again, 18 count Ada. I really love these. And I, I got them <laughs> with the original intention of maybe reselling them on eBay, but actually I might stitch them. Because I think, especially this one, I just love how tall she is and I love the patterns in the dress. Am I crazy? I'm crazy, I know. Anyway, two more kits to add to the stash. They were $10 each, so that, that's good. I could have got a lot more. She had a lot of nice kits, but I, I love those two and I'm very happy with them. Very happy with them. Okay, that's all I have to say. It's mainly a video just to show off Sarah Brazier because I love her and I'm so proud of her. Um, I'm so relieved to be finished with her. Uh, if you give me a moment, I can show you the finishes, the starts I'm planning. Actually, no. Next time I'll show you the starts I'm planning um, because I'm, I just ordered eight silks. Um, so then they'll be fully catch it up and I can show you properly. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Get some stitching done. It's good for you. I will see you next time. Bye.